Hello everybody, my name is Ilse Roman and I'm professor at Vrije Universiteit Brussel. Let me first take the opportunity to introduce you to my lab. I am the head of the Laboratory for Medical and Molecular Oncology, where we dedicate to fundamental and translational research in the field of pancreatic cancer. I have a long-standing interest in cellular plasticity in the exocrine pancreas. Today, I present our latest work, with major contributions of two of my current PhD students, Sandrina Martens and Katarina Kolons. The paper is entitled Discovery and 3D Imaging of a Novel Delta NP63 Expressing Basal Cell in Human Pancreatic Ducts with Implications in Disease. It is in this context that I would like to introduce our newest findings. We know that in the skin, the lung, the prostate and other organs, there is delta and P63 expressing basal cells. It is also in these organs that there are basal cancers forming. Now in the normal pancreas, there are no delta and P63 expressing basal cells, whereas it is found that there is a basal-like subtype of pancreatic cancer that has the worst prognosis. So we started screening over 100 samples from patients with no history of pancreatic disease and we found that there are rare delta and P63 expressing cells in the normal human pancreas that become more prevalent in chronic pancreatitis and, as was known, are present in a subset of the pancreatic tumors. We noticed that these cells are located within or near the ducts, so we stained for ductal markers. The P63 cells are here in red, and as you can see, they nicely co-localize with carotene 19, which is a typical ductal marker. However, when we looked at other markers, like the transcription factors HNF1 beta and SOX9, we saw that the P63 expressing cells do not express SOX9 here in white, while the neighboring duct cells they do. When we looked at normal basal cell characteristics, like those reported in other organs, we see that there is a nice co-localization of these markers also in the pancreas. So the P63 cells stained for keratin-5, for instance, and S100A2. Now, when we wanted to assess the basal positioning, we had to resort to 3D imaging. Therefore, we developed a protocol to have fluorescent light sheet microscopic imaging also from paraffin embedded tissue. And as you can see here, when we stain for carotene 19 and P63, we see that the P63 positive cells are in the basal lining of this large duct. In the video, you can see on the left-hand side a normal human pancreas and on the right-hand side chronic pancreatitis with cystic structures forming. Here we stain the basal cells for the carotene 5 marker and the normal ducts for carotene 7. In the normal human pancreas, there is hardly any of the pink cells that can be found, whereas in the chronic pancreatitis there is domes of cystic structures with basal cells. In the adult mouse pancreas, we could not find a single trace of delta and P63 expression. However, when we started culturing medium to big size ducts as organoids, there was some induction of P63 expression at the expense of the ductal markers, as here shown for SOX9. In the HPDE cell line, a knockdown of P63 led to a reduction in typical basal markers, while there is induction of normal duct cell differentiation here, SOX9, carotene 19, and so on. So all in all, this research leads to a better understanding of pancreatic cell plasticity in health and disease. If this research is of interest to you, feel free to reach out to us.